so chivalry, is it more about respect no matter which sex you are? A new report suggests that men who act chivalrously are actually masking sexist tendencies and think that women are weak creatures. Well, that's how women were perceived, what, 200 years ago? That they were weak and that was it. They needed to be looked after. Maybe chivalry is very much alive, but it's become more about respect and, and should be a two-way street, as the actress Emma Watson suggested, um, because she paid for dinner and the bloke she was with didn't really like it, even though apparently he was a feminist. So is chivalry dead? BBC and then your message to 81333 at BBC Newcastle. Grant Harold is a man who knows a thing or two about etiquette because he is a former royal butler and he now works as uh, a royal and British etiquette consultant. Hello, Grant. Thank you for coming on. Good morning, Jonathan. Thank you for having me on. So, chivalry, is it dead, sir? I don't think it is. Uh, definitely not. But I do agree. I think it's, it has to adapt and evolve to the 21st century. So I, I do in part agree with what Emma what Emma's actually said because um, I think we, we live in a time where you, you've got it's got to evolve. Uh, when you, you were at Buckingham Palace, I'm guessing. Uh, well, actually across the road, Clar- Clarence House and Highgrove. OK. Um, so when somebody high-ranking came along and you were near a door, did you have to open the door and bow? Well, <laughs> if it was a royal. <laughs> but didn't, um, that, didn't that make you feel like a fool a bit? Because you were bent no. ben double, open door, mom, mom, mom. Isn't it a bit kind of like, oh, enough already? <laughs> But, you know, it's not, it's not just, I mean, well, when it's not quite that kind of bow, I mean, it's a bit more modern the bows today. But, uh, you know, with anybody, I, I would open a door and, and show respect, both for men and for women. I mean, traditionally, yes, if, I, if, I, if a lady came to the door or, or walking towards the door, I'd open a door for her. Uh, but at the same time, I would do the same for, for a gentleman. And, again, I've actually had uh, ladies and gentlemen both open the door for myself when you're walking in and out. Somewhere. What, so, again... Sorry, go on. Grant, what if it was somebody lesser than you? So let's say it was a, a footman. What were you? Uh, well, one, of the, one of the butlers. So, oh. I mean, if it was anybody, if it was anybody less, uh, I, I, would, I would treat them the same as, as, uh, as a member of their own family. You wouldn't just slam the door in their face? <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Definitely not. I'm not, as, I'm not like Carson. All right. <laughs> so you practice chivalrous acts which, which, which others might now class as outdated? Well, I think it, it's tricky because I know, you know, we, we live in this, this 21st century where uh, men and women are absolutely, you know, equals, but uh, there is the tradition of chivalry. And, I mean, chivalry, I mean, uh, the thing that's interesting about it, it, it didn't ever specify it was just for men or for women, but obviously it was a code of conduct for knights, uh, which it was in the 1100s. We're now in the, the you know, the 20, 21st century. And that's why I said it's got to adapt and evolve. But some of the traditions, it's quite nice. I mean, I think it's quite nice to hold a door for a lady or if a lady walks into the room, I'll stand up, regardless who the lady is, even if it was the, you know, back to, in my days of service, if it was the one of the kitchen workers and it was a lady, I would, I would still stand up if she walked in the room. Mm. When you do do things like stand up when a woman walks in the room, I hold her, are, are you ever met with rude comments? No, I, I, actually, I've, I've never, ever had that happen. I've never had a, a lady walk into the room and say, why are you standing? And if anything, I've had actually ladies say to me how nice it is that I've actually, that I've actually done that. And, I've, and a couple of years ago, I remember holding a, a door open for a lady uh, at a shop, and she looked at me and she said, oh, it's wonderful, Chivalry's not dead. Oh. Do, you, do so, you think, as this report suggests, there's any form of a man masking sexist tendencies? I don't think so, no. Um, personally, I don't think so. If if a woman were p- to pay for dinner for you, mm. how would you feel? I, I'd be quite honoured. <laughs> yeah, me too. I think I think if a, if a lady wants to pay for for dinner, I wouldn't I wouldn't I wouldn't say oh, I would I would probably say oh please no let me and if she was insistent then I wouldn't make a fuss about it. Uh, and likewise, I'd hope that if I did the same for a lady or a gentleman, that they they would they would not make a fuss about it likewise uh, so i think emma's absolutely right with what she's with what she said i think uh she dealt with it perfectly and i mean i know that the, again you've got to be careful what you read in the papers it's not always true but i think you know saying that there was a bit of a issue around it but i'm sure the gentleman with her was probably quite honored that she wanted to pay for the meal and d- d- so it should work both ways absolutely i mean i think as i said i believe it's not dead but i think it has got to evolve 
uh, which is not a bad thing. Okay. And we spoke to uh, a feminist, Holly Coombs, earlier, who said it's about being polite no matter what sex you are. Absolutely. I mean, that, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. It's respecting others. It's, it's back to manners and, and obviously what I teach, etiquette. And it is. It's about respecting other people as much as yourself. Who do, who do you teach etiquette to? Are different cultures different to ours? Uh, yeah, we have clients from from Europe, from uh, from uh, the states, and I also find enough. I teach it with a with a, uh, a niece of the Queen, uh, a royal princess. Princess, myself, do we? Princess Katerina. Absolutely. Do and give her my love. <laughs> well, Jonathan, I'm sure she'll be glad to hear that. We know each uh, other. Really? Yes. Well, you must. You have to come to one of the classes. Me? Not that you need not that you need to go to a class. <laughs> now I probably do. I, ca I can't imagine what it would be like to do an etiquette class. I think you'd quite enjoy it. We make we make them quite fun and enjoyable. We don't we don't terrify people that come in. We make sure that they enjoy themselves. And it is you know it's just teaching them uh, the the kind of basics around etiquette and what to do if you met mm. if you met the queen or a member of the royal family or again anybody. It's just it's just teaching you the basics of, of life. Um, I, I I'll t I'll tell you a funny story about Princess Katerina. We were at dinner with her friend, the Northeast designer George Bond, who's got a beautiful, got right, got a beautiful white carpet. Okay. Another friend is there. Dog poops on the carpet in front of the princess. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Now that's not very <laughs> etiquette, is it? No, I think I think the dog would need to come for some etiquette lessons. <laughs> huh? But but I'm sure Jonathan, you'd have put your coat on top of it, and so that Princess didn't have to have to look at it. Yeah, absolutely. So she could <laughs> tread on it with her little dainty feet. Thank you so much for coming on, Grant. Thank you very much for having me on, Jonathan. It's been good fun. Bye bye. <laughs> Uh, the chivalrous, non-sexist Grant Harold. What do you think? Is chivalry dead? Is it just?